Aggressive corporate restructuring drive is expected to continue into next year in this country. Seoul's finance chief today vowed to establish a strict evaluation system for the four key industries currently subject to the initiative and extend its application to other sectors as well. Lee ji has more. Korea's finance minister says the country will continue its corporate restructuring drive next year. Speaking at a meeting with related ministers on Monday, Minister Yu Hiro said the government will review action plans to strengthen four key industries, namely shipbuilding, shipping, steel and petrochemical, and lay out the specifics of what needs to be done in 2017. He also emphasized the importance of the corporate restructuring drive and said the government will establish a system where ailing firms will be selected through a strict evaluation. We will continue our momentum for corporate restructuring next year for a better future of our economy. We will review potential risks of major industries such as construction and provide preemptive measures when needed. The effects of the drive are already evident, according to a report on Korea's three shipbuilders released Monday. Hyundai Heavy Industries has already managed to raise more than a third of the 2.9 billion U.S. dollars needed to fund its rescue plan by selling its assets and laying off employees. Samsung Heavy Industries also managed to raise almost half of its $1.2 billion rescue plan, while Teo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering sold two of its floating docks and reduced its employees by 8,000. However, the three shipbuilders showed disappointing numbers in terms of secured orders due to low demand in the industry overall. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.